Hey, this is Liz Bentley, and today we are concluding Men's Month. June was Men's Month at Liz Bentley Associates, and we did a lot of really exciting stuff talking about the issues that men face today, some of the struggles, some of the opportunities, and everything male. We did four interviews with our clients to talk about their journey and their experiences in life and what their role models were as men and how they came into their masculinity as they grew and became leaders in their different, in their different fields and organizations. Um, we talked about the, some of the statistics out there showing us that men are in trouble. Like almost 80% of the suicides in our country are committed by men and of that, the majority of them are white middle-aged men. We talked about how 100% of the mass shootings are committed by men, how men are also committing almost 80% of the violent crimes. We talked about how almost 90% of the schizophrenic cases by the age of 30 that come on by the age of 30 are male, that 70% of the opioid overdoses are men, that men only account for 40% of the college graduates today. <laughs> so there's a lot out there. That doesn't mean our men are in dying, but they are in some danger and we need to talk about it. The other thing that we see is that as a society, we are great at talking about women. We love to talk about women and their struggle and their journey and how they need to grow. And that's so wonderful for women, but we are afraid of talking about men and we shouldn't be because men deserve the same platform and they need the opportunity to grow through their struggle. So let's just review a quickie on what did we learn this month in interviewing our clients and talking about men and where they need to grow. Number one, we talked a lot about how masculinity and vulnerability can coexist. And what that means is you can be strong and masculine and at the same time struggle and grow and talk about your weaknesses and get feedback and look at where maybe you're not doing the best job that you could, but these things can coexist. Okay, second thing we talked a lot about was being a hero. We love men to be our heroes, it is so great, but sometimes that's unrealistic. <laughs> not everyone can be Superman. Um, and maybe there are moments of Superman, but there's moments of just being a normal person and sometimes you're even the villain. So really normalizing life for men so that they don't have to always step out to be the hero and have shame when they're not the hero. Three, shame, big word for men. When men struggle, the first thing they go to is shame. And then with shame comes anger and embarrassment and shutting down and feeling like there's nowhere to go. And shame is a word we need to get out of male language so that they can just see their struggle as normal and humane, just like everybody else. And last but not least, we were exploring the word dominance. Men love to dominate. <laughs> not all men, but a lot of men like to be in dominant positions. And dominance can be fantastic and great because we need people to lead, but dominance doesn't need to be oppressive. And how do we find that balance in letting men in some cases dominate? And by the way, sometimes women need to dominate too, depending on the position, but how can dominance be a positive and not a repressive situation where it's putting people down in order for people to go up because we all want to rise together. So thanks for uh, celebrating Men's Month with us and being on our journey and reach out to us if you have any questions or if you have anybody who want to be, wants to be interviewed. Thanks.